hey friends welcome to the youtube channel all about electronics so in this question we have been given the op amp circuit and here we have been given that the given op amp is the ideal op amp and here we have been also given the bode plot for the magnitude of the gain transfer function and here this omega is the angular frequency so based on this bode plot here we have been asked to find the values of this r and c so here let's say this resistor is equal to r1 while this another resistor is equal to r2 so here if you see this circuit then it is nothing but the low pass filter so as you can see here this low pass filter is connected to the non inverting terminal of this op amp and through this feedback resistor and the resistor r1 the output of this low pass filter will get amplified so here this v plus or the voltage at this non inverting terminal can be given as this 1 divided by j omega c that is the reactance of this capacitor divided by this r2 plus this 1 divided by j omega c or you can say that that is equal to 1 divided by this 1 plus j times r2 times omega c so that is the voltage at this non inverting terminal and this voltage will get amplified by the non inverting gain of the op amp that means here this v out is equal to 1 plus this r divided by r1 times v plus or we can say that that is equal to 1 plus r divided by r1 times this 1 divided by 1 plus j times r2 times omega c and of course over here we will also have the input voltage that means if we see this v out divided by v in then that is equal to 1 plus r divided by r1 times this 1 divided by 1 plus j times r2 times omega c so now if we just consider the magnitude of this v out divided by v in then we will have 1 plus r divided by r1 times this 1 divided by square root of 1 plus r2 square omega square c square so this will be the gain transfer function and specifically that is the magnitude of the gain transfer function so from this we can easily find the values of this r and c so let us see that so here this v out divided by v in or the magnitude of the gain transfer function is equal to 1 plus r divided by r1 times 1 divided by square root of omega square r2 square c square and here this is the body plot of the given transfer function so here whenever the omega is equal to 0 then the gain of this transfer function is equal to 12 db so we can say that this 20 log of av is equal to 12 or we can say that this av is equal to 10 to the power 12 divided by 20 which is roughly equal to 4 that means whenever the omega is equal to 0 or at the dc this gain transfer function is equal to 4 now in this expression whenever we put the omega is equal to 0 then this term will become 1 and eventually we will have this 1 plus r divided by r1 so we can say that this 4 is equal to 1 plus r divided by r1 or from this we can say that this r divided by r1 is equal to 3 now here since r1 is equal to 1 kilo ohm so we can say that the value of r is equal to 3 kilo ohm so in this way we got the value of the r so similarly now let us find the value of the c so in this body plot if you see then whenever this log of omega is equal to 3 at that time the amplitude of the gain transfer function reduces by the 3 db so initially it is equal to 12 db but whenever this log of omega is equal to 3 at that time this amplitude reduces by the 3 db and as you can see it becomes 9 db so this frequency is known as the cut off frequency of the filter so let's say that is equal to omega c so in this case this log of omega c is equal to 3 because at that frequency the amplitude is reducing by the 3 db so from this we can say that this omega c is equal to 10 to the power 3 that means the omega c is equal to 1000 radian per second and since it is the low pass filter so from the cut off frequency itself 
we can easily find the value of the C. So here, if you see the cutoff frequency of this low pass filter, then that is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times this R2 times C. Or from this we can say that this 2 pi times Fc is equal to 1 divided by R2 times C. And this 2 pi times Fc is nothing but the omega C. So from this we can say that the cutoff frequency of this low pass filter or this omega C is equal to 1 divided by R2 times C. So here this C is equal to 1 divided by R2 times omega C. So here the value of the R2 is equal to 1 kilo ohm that is equal to 10 to the power 3 ohm and the value of omega C is also equal to 10 to the power 3 radian per second and from this we can say that the value of the C is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 Faraday or that is equal to 1 micro Faraday. So if you know the value of the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter then from this you can easily find the value of the C but in case if you do not know that then also from the given expression and from the given body plot also you can easily find the value of the C. So now let us see the alternate approach where even if you are do not aware about the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter then also how to find the value of the C. So we know that at this frequency the magnitude of the transfer function is reducing by the 3 dB. That means whenever this omega is equal to 10 to the power 3 radian per second at that time this 20 log of AV is equal to 9 dB. So from this we can easily find the value of the AV that is equal to 10 to the power 9 divided by 20 and that is equal to 2.818 and here this 1 plus R divided by R1 is equal to 4. That means further we can write this expression as this 2.818 divided by 4 that is equal to 1 divided by square root of 1 plus omega square r2 square c square. So further if we simplify it then we can say that this 1 divided by square root of 1 plus omega square r2 square c square is equal to 0.707. So now if we take the square on both sides then further we can write it as 1 divided by 1 plus omega square r2 square c square that is roughly equal to 0.5 or we can say that that is equal to 1 by 2. That means 1 plus omega square r2 square c square is equal to 2 or further this omega square r2 square c square is equal to 1 and from this we can say that this c is equal to 1 divided by omega times r2 and here this omega is the cutoff frequency and we know that this frequency is equal to 10 to the power 3. So we can say that this c is equal to 1 divided by 10 to the power 3 radian per second times 10 to the power 3 ohm that is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 Faraday or we can say that the value of the c is equal to 1 micro Faraday. So in this way we got the value of r and c. That means here this r is equal to 3 kilo ohm while the value of c is equal to 1 micro Faraday and from this we can say that for the given question this A is the correct answer.